Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and today we are here for another video on Splunk. In this tutorial we will be going through about Splunk Enterprise Components and Splunk Deployment Topologies. If you have not watched my previous tutorial please do so. Also kindly subscribe to the channel and like the video. We have seen how to set up Splunk, so basically a Splunk Enterprise has three main components. Number 1. Indexers. 2. Forwarders. And search heads. Indexers are the component which does the indexing and stores the data. They also search across the data. Whereas forwarders ingest raw data and forward the data to another component, either another forwarder or an indexer. Lastly search heads, they manage searches. They handle search requests from users and distribute the requests across the set of indexers, which search their local data. The search head then consolidates the results from all of the indexers and serves them to the users. Now let's see how data moves through Splunk deployments, the data processing in Splunk corresponds to data pipeline. The data pipeline has these segments. Input Parsing Indexing And Search The table on the screen shows you in which Splunk component these are majorly done. We are not going to spend time on how this is done in Splunk server. Let's see how you can deploy your Splunk instances. Before selecting a topology option, it is highly recommended that you to understand the use cases, you do a study of your environment, availability requirement, geographical setup etc. The simplest and easiest setup for proof of concept or small environment is single server deployment, where you can have the indexer and search head on the same machine, without high availability setup. This topology is typically used for smaller, non-business critical use cases and very cost effective. The common Splunk deployment topology is distributed one. You can have separate search heads and indexers. In basic distributed search, independent search heads manage searches for a group of independent indexers. If you have high data volume sent to Splunk it is always recommended for distributed architecture. Deploying multiple independent indexers will allow you to scale your indexing capacity linearly and implicitly increase the availability for data ingest. Search performance can be maintained across large datasets through parallel search execution across many indexers. For huge environment and for high availability setup, we need to have search head and indexer clusters. This topology introduces indexer and search head clustering in conjunction with an appropriately configured data replication policy. This provides high availability of data in case of indexer or search head peer node failure. Multi-site clustering provides data redundancy across physically separated distributed locations, with the possibility for geographically separated distribution. We can also use deployment server with server class and deployment client configured for easy management of Splunk servers and forwarders. If you have not watched my tutorial on how to set up Splunk deployment server please check out my channel for more videos on Splunk. Thank you for watching, kindly like the video and subscribe to my channel.